I'm going to create three VLANs on my 40 gate firewall. First step is we have to configure the switch access and trunk ports. So on GNS3, we're just going to right click on the switch, hit configure, and we're going to delete all of these ports for now. And port 0 is going to be VLAN 1 which is going to be our native VLAN and we're going to change it to .1Q because um, the port that is connected to the FortiGate firewall will be our trunk port for a uh, router on a stick essentially. We're going to add that in and our port 1 is going to be VLAN 10 an access port to PC1 for VLAN 2 I mean, sorry, for port 2, it's just going to be VLAN 20. For port 3, VLAN 30. And we're just going to hit apply, press OK. And we're going to connect the interfaces to their respective VLANs. So from port 0 to port 2, which is our trunk, 802.1Q. And from port 1 is VLAN 10 port 2 VLAN 20, port 3 VLAN 30. And we're just going to make sure that the PCs are set for DHCP. Save here and PC3. Hit save here. Okay, and then we're just going to start. Okay, now we're going to log into our FortiGate console using our management PC over here. As you can see, I'm already inside the web GUI. And we're going to create sub interfaces or VLAN interfaces inside the FortiGate firewall. We're going to hit Network Interfaces, Create New Interface. For name, it's just VLAN 10. VLAN 10. Interface is going to be port 2. VLAN ID is 10. And the IP address, um, we will do 192.168.10.1 slash 24. And we're allowing HTTPS ping. And we're also going to create a DHCP server. Uh, 192.168.10.2. Default gateway, same as interface IP. And we're going to specify a DNS server of 8888. And enabled. OK. And then we're also going to create one for VLAN 20. Interface ports 2, VLAN ID should be 20, and IP address 192.168.20.1, HTTPS and ping, DHCP server enabled, with that range, DNS server 8888 status enabled, press OK, and lastly for VLAN 30. Interface 2, VLAN ID 30, IP address 192.168.30.1 slash 24, HTTPS ping, DHCP server with that range, Default gateway same as interface IP and DNS 8888. Status enabled. We we'll press OK. And now you can see if we expand port 2, we have sub interfaces for all of our VLANs. So now we can check back on our computers to confirm that 
they have an IP address as you as it says here in step four. So for PC one terminal IF config one and two one six eight ten dot two for VLAN twenty IF config one and two one six eight dot twenty dot two and for PC three IF config one nine two one six eight dot thirty dot twenty. So now that all of our PCs have IP addresses from their respective VLANs, they actually still will not be able to communicate with each other because FortiGate's implied rule will deny everything. So for example, if we go to PC1 and if we type IF config again, we have an IP address of 192.168.10.2. If we go to PC3, IF config again here, we have an IP address of 192.168.32. And for PC1, if we ping 192.168.30.2, you see the ping is still not going to go through. So what we need to do is we need to access the console of firewall and we need to create a firewall policy and we're going to name this VLAN 10 to VLAN 30. Incoming VLAN 10, outgoing VLAN 30 and the source we're just going to hit all, all and for service let's just say we're going to allow ping. We're going to accept the action and enable this policy and we're also just going to copy that paste it below and we're going to edit this one the opposite direction so vlan 30 to vlan 10 and we'll just uh, switch the incoming and outgoing interface all all we're going to allow ping action accept and make sure to enable this policy hit ok so now if we go back to PC1 and now we try to type ping 192.168.30.2 now the ping is going through and we've essentially enabled inter-VLAN routing.